Dwayne here, phoenixfatbrider.com. We got old time Oliver here we're working on. I have been working on for a while. And uh, we're going to, looks like, work on the mainspring on this. I got most of this machine working. And I knew the drawband mainspring was disconnected, and, and now I, there's a problem with it. So the last thing I got working was these inner letters, these, these short guys. That's still sticking a little. I can't get these short ones. They're sticking more than they would stick down. It looks like they're working better. Thank God. And uh, a few other things on it, but what we're going to tackle is the mainspring back here. Right here. And I thought I could just put a drawband on it, but it does not... It's not grabbing. It's just spinning freely and uh, I'm going to have to investigate that. So I'm going to take the carriage off this like, like this. And uh, of course we don't have the uh, that little handy dandy little latch that goes into here. It's missing and I'm going to have to modify something. For that, but uh, I've already tried to take this off and I took the cover off it. I can't seem to clear this, won't come all the way off. This assembly would have to be moved or something, it looks like. But we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this, and I think we can do this with it on the uh, so this main screw holds the uh. Holds the unit in place. It's a special screw with a special washer. Because I have actually made one time a while back, actually made this washer right here. It's not coming off right now. But uh, I had to make one of those. Because it was. It's like a shoulder washer. It's got to be just right. But this has a top on it that comes off with these uh, three little screws. So let's uh, get this apart. And we'll get down to business in here. All right. Okay, so this cap will come off. There we go. There's that washer I was talking about. It's got to be... That holds this... This little guy's got a split in it. And it holds it together. If you don't have that washer, this piece will separate. So that's a pretty critical component to the whole thing. So what I noticed in here right away was it's broken. It doesn't grab because... It's not connected to the center shaft, and sure enough, let's see if I can get some more light in this direction. Okay, and uh, sure enough, there's pieces in here. There's a piece right there that should have gone in the center right there. And there's also another little chunk of steel down here, so... See if I can get it out of here. And I'll let that one come out. There it is. This little piece right there. So it must have broken two places. But so this is not too bad. Um the whole spring is good except this tip right here. That tip goes through this slot right here. And uh, so in theory, I've already tried this so it connects right here on the outside. It goes around this direction. So this would go through the slot like right there, like that. And actually, if we wound it, kind of wants to hold like that see 
wind it, wind it, wind it. It's kind of holding, but see, and it's going to unwind. It's going to hold tension, but I don't trust that to not stay in position. So I want to put a little, uh, put a little bend in it, like this one, like that little, that little bend right there. I'm pretty sure that if I try bending that with just a tool, it's going to break. I think it's got to be heated up. So, if we were to take this off, like that, and uh, this is going to be the tricky part, because this, this one come out of here. It just doesn't clear that I'm a liar. It came out of there. Good. Get this on the bench and that'd be a little easier to a little easier to deal with. Alright. So it's a little tricky, you know, getting this spring out of here, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to take it out all the way. In fact, I'm gonna do something here. Let's see. What do I got here I can use? Handy dandy, come on. Be something you can use for a clamp. Alright, let me just try. Let's try a big paper clip. I don't want that spring coming out all the way. That far is fine. So, yeah, that's going to be difficult to get to. So, let me just see if I can bend it without heating it. I really doubt it. Okay, I'm going to have to use two, uh, two wrenches here. Let's see. Let's see what I got handy here. this one. Take this and hold it and I'm going to try to bend that tab. I'm going to try to bend that tab but I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to break. I'm going to try it anyhow. It's not it's not really bending. I'm try this. Uh, I'll try this trick. I haven't done this in a while, so we just have to bear with me. See if I can see if I can do it. Yeah, it's not really working very well. I can't really get to it the way I want to. That's mm. mm. not working very well. Boy, I don't want to take this thing out all the way. Alright, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to grab a tool back here. I 
So I had a pair of chan uh, vice grips with a like a needle nose. We'll try. We'll try this. I want to isolate this. I'm going to heat it up. That's what I've decided here. But I also want to be able to isolate this. Okay. I'm going to heat up this tip right here and I want to bend it. All right, a little torch here. And get my tool ready. So I think this is what I'm going to use. Bend that in. All right, let's fire this bug up. Okay, there it goes. See, got me a little, a little bend in it right there. All right, not the greatest result in the world, but let's see if I can get this back in there. Okay. Try to bend this around a little more while it's still a little bit warm. Finger. I know what's hot in there. Trying to just mend the circle around a little. tighter circle here. I think uh I think this might work though. Okay, so now it's got a little, and we're going to stick the uh, slot right down in there. Let's give it a try. Okay, so where I want that. Just like this right here. Right there.
It's got a, got a bit of a curve there. It's not going to want to go down that slot the way I planned it to. Let's see if we can make it fit. Okay. Well. Going. It's going. Come on. Go down a little further than that. Go further than that. Let's see if we can get this thing tapped down in there. I think that's it. So, <clears throat> it's got a little bit of a, a lip over here. So, when it tightens, it tightens this way, it, it won't be able to slip out of there freely. And it looks like it's going to work. And there we go. Can wind this a little further even. And keep that spring in there. There it goes, so there it unwinds just like that. Alright, I think we got it. A little, uh, not the smoothest uh, repair, but let's put the cap back on and we'll. Oh, let me do something else here. Let me see how this. Uh, So the draw band goes, yeah, I'm going to have to, it wants to go in this hole right here, but the spring is, is right there. So I just got to wind it tight, and then that spring will get out of the way, and I can put a rope in there. So let's go ahead and put the cap back on it. Good. Fits where it should. Should have enough room for that washer right there. Looks like it does. So. Oops. Okay. I kind of thought that maybe that expanded this slot and the washer won't quite fit so I'm going to kind of squeeze this together a little bit. That washer's got to go. Yeah, go around and kind of holds that together there. I was going to say there it goes, but... Just a little finesse. Alright, let's grab a screw for the outside here. Put the light out of the way. Screw in there. Good, feels good. Now 
I don't want to. I don't want to unwind this because, or you know, turn it the opposite way. Or anything, but so the only way we want to turn this would be this way. Because that way, when it winds this way, it pulls the band that way. So, oh, there we go. We got a nice working mainspring. <clears throat> and now, all I've got to do is build a rope for it, which I think I might just do on camera here. Let's see if I can do that real quick. something here quickly that I can find here. Now that looks nice. I was hoping for something green to match or I used the cable before. There's a cable. I might use this. Okay, let me try to use the cable. I had a weird little end on this. Okay, so I'm gonna, I just want a knot right there so I can stick it in right there. Let's get some another tool here to Pull this knot tight. Need that tight as can be. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Let's cut this off here. Cut this tip off. I put a metal one on one a while back. So I'm gonna stick that in that. See, it won't fit in there. Oh yeah, okay. It does. It does like that right there. All right. So now I need to rig up something. Let's find out about how long we want this. Let's see. Carriage has a weird little connection here. So we need to rig up something. Gonna have to rig something here. This is gonna be the trickier part. Getting a nice end there. So let's see. I had an idea, but I have to modify something. And it might take a few minutes. To do. Thinking about making some kind of loop. Let's stick the loop through here. circle it back around. Like 
that. over here so we need just to go to you know around here to there okay we'll try something here I'm gonna have to use most of this I'm thinking since this goes in and out of there real quick that would go like this Especially for a, a quick uh, on camera connection, we can do this. We got two more toward the end here. Try this again. So I'm going to reloop this. I might rework this later, but just for now, I think I'm going to put this on. in here loop one right there okay and I think if we put the loop through here and then we run this piece through that loop like that then it will be a permanent connection go. So that's going to work for now. Let's load up this mainspring. Nah, I don't have to load it up. Let's put the carriage on. Come on, it's binding up on the left, there we go. Okay, so we got this, it's a little, little long, but that's all we got to do here now is load this mainspring up and stick it in the slot, and she's going to be running. There's also a screw right there, you can... Tighten up the mainspring, but it's a really slow process. So I'm going to do it manually. I'm going to go one more because that's got a lot of slack here. Okay, so that's lined up. Oops, I almost let it go. There we go. She's on. <clears throat> we have action. Nice. All right. Got me a metal. <clears throat> I might rework that that connection on that side. But she's up and running. Up and running. That's nice. Okay, that's my video of the morning here. Mainspring repair and metal drawband attached. Good day.